Hey YouTube, Townhouse Gardener here. Got another update for you. I was able to get my seeds the other day. I ordered some seeds from rareseeds.com and because I'm not at my old job, this is my new setup for my seed starting. I didn't want to have to spend a lot of money on it, so I made it as basic as possible. All I did was cut some 2x4s. This is all 2x4 framing, um, very as basic as you can get. I have four legs on it that are 48 inches tall. These boards going across are five feet minus the three and a half inches in here. So it's enough for me to fit my 48 inch lights and then have a little bit of wiggle room to the sides. And then the boards here going across, I believe, are three feet. So I just used the remainder after I cut these. I used a total of four two by fours for this. Um, so this whole framing costed me about 10 bucks. I already had the lights. I had one set of chains, but I had to buy another one because it worked out great to where on the back side of these, I have just some drywall screws going into the boards. So that way I can raise this, lower this very easily um, without there being any issues. Let me tell you what, because the lighting is going to be bad with these, let me open the window. Which, by the way, I'm in Virginia Beach, like I've said. And it has snowed. It hasn't, it doesn't snow very regularly but there's a lot of ice with it. I'm gonna see what it looks like when I turn the lights off. Eh, I'll leave them on. Anyway, all right, here is what I have planted so far. Right in here, this is uh, three times 15 containers from here over this way is a purple cabbage pretty much that I planted. I planted those last night as well as from here over as early Jersey uh, Wakefield. These two up here are also early Jersey and then the rest of these are marigolds. And then let me see if I can pull this out. This one I planted on the 20th. So two days ago. I haven't opened it yet. Yeah, nothing sprouting yet, which is fine. Oh, actually, never mind. Nope, that's not. All right, so on this is all my peppers and tomatoes. I just have it by row. The far left row, this is all Roma tomatoes. Next one in is Rutgers. This row right here is all sun gold. This one is, some of these are seeds that I just got from rareseeds.com. Like I just got the Roma tomatoes, as well as the sun gold, as well as this row is the scorpion pepper. This row is the ghost pepper. These ones I already had, but this is habanero, jalapeno, sereno, mini bell peppers, golden California wonder peppers. Uh, this is another one that I just got, which is a yellow pear tomato, and then the red Marconi. So those are all pretty much seeds that I've gotten. This is just the start of my seeds um, for this year. And like I said, I just planted these two days ago. But last year, I found that when I had the shelving unit that I was using that my plants would end up getting too tall towards the end and I didn't have the space to lift the lights anymore. Now if the plants get so tall that I don't have the space to lift them in this, I'm either doing a really good job or it is way past the time when I should put them outside. So anyway, here's this. Let me see if I can show you my my seeds that I just got. Alright. This is my seed collection 
uh, between the last couple years. Let me see some new ones that I've got on. This year from our seeds, I got some more sugar snap peas. Roma tomatoes. I already had my Rutgers. These are the Sun Gold that I ordered. This is a Trinidad Scorpion Pepper. Um, it is one of the hottest, I, I want to say it's the second hottest pepper in the world. Um, if it's not, it's right up there with it. This is the Ghost Pepper, which I believe this one is the hottest. But So I wanted to grow up. My boss likes to make some hot sauces and whatnot with them. So I'm going to give him some of these and see if he can handle it. I don't know if he can, but we'll see. Uh, Golden California Wonder. Yellow pear tomatoes. I also saw Charm City. I always forget the name. I'm, I apologize. But Charm City Gardener. She, Charm City Balcony Gardener. Anyway, she has these as well. She got it from MI Gardener, I think. She said is where she saw them. And I had actually already ordered these. I just thought they'd be kind of fun to grow. My Red Habanero. Marconi. Uh, mini bell, jalapeno, these ones I've had, sereno, uh, this is another new one, uh, blue lake, bush 274, I'm going to try those, in my one large bed, I'm going to plant these first, and then when these are done, I'm going to plant corn, in hopes that that'll work, I got some straight eight cucumbers, this is cantaloupe, at least I think it is, coban orange flush, Melon, at least it looked like a cantaloupe, so that's why I got it. <laughs> I have some corn, which is country gentleman, sweet corn, and this is all these are from rareseeds.com, so they are all heirloom variety, which I prefer heirloom. Right here is some zucchini, black beauty. I have some. Boston pickling cucumbers. I got some straight neck squash. This is a free gift that they sent me. I don't know if I'm going to plant it or not. American Melon Ananos D something. Anyway, it's a free gift. So I always look forward to when I get these. Just the random ones. Some of them I've really liked. Some of them I haven't when they've sent them. This one I don't know if I like it or not. It's just I don't have much space. I got some more carrots for my daughter. Some Danver 126 half long. And then the rest of these I've pretty much had. Um, Crookneck squash. Some butternut. The, this is the Chadwick cherry. This is the tomato plant that I grew last year that was like 12 feet tall and 8 feet wide. Just the massive plant. Um, yeah, I don't even have any seeds left from this. I was going to say if anybody wants them. But this is the brand. If you want a huge tomato plant, this is the one to go for. I have some cayenne peppers. Some corno de toro diallo kale. This is all just more of what I've had. These ones are from Southern States store, local store around here. Actually, I think they're all over, but then onions and cauliflower and just a bunch of other seeds that I've acquired over the past year and a half, two years. So, but this is my, my update for my seed starting 2014, as well as just some new seeds that I ordered that I'm going to try out. I, I said to one person that I was going to send them some ghost pepper seeds and I might even send some uh, Trinidad scorpion pepper seeds because she wanted to try them out uh, the Charm City Balcony Gardener so I will be having those in the mail shortly now that I know I might already planted it and I'm good to go so thank you for taking the time if you have any questions about what I'm doing um, any advice on how I can do it better I appreciate all the input and thanks for watching have a good day. Bye.